Welcome back to a new vlog. So on today's vlog, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this keto pizza. So I've been posting it on my Instagram. I think I shared with it on one of my vlogs like two vlogs ago. And you guys have been asking me to show you guys to go more into detail on how to make this keto pizza. On Instagram, on YouTube, you guys have been asking me. So I'm finally going to show you. It is so simple that you're going to be like, what? Just that? That's it? It's that simple and it tastes delicious. I'm gonna be honest with you guys though. It doesn't taste like your Pizza Hut or your Little Caesars or your bomb pizza that you go to with lots of carbs. It doesn't taste like that. So I don't wanna bring your hopes up, but it doesn't taste nasty either. It tastes really good. Like it's something that would take my craving away from wanting a pizza. So I really, really love it and it's not nasty. It is so delicious. My daughter loves it and she is just like the pickiest eater you have ever met and she loves it so much and it only takes four ingredients which is almond flour mozzarella cheese philadelphia cheese and an egg that's all it takes to make this pizza and it is so freaking easy and i'm gonna show you guys so let's get started all right so the first thing you want to do is put your cheese it's one and a half cup of cheese and in the same bowl, I'm gonna add Philadelphia cheese. Three tablespoons of Philadelphia cheese. And I put it on a normal bowl, so it's gonna go in the microwave for at least one minute to melt a little bit. All right, so it's finally done, and this is how it should look. A little bit melted, but not too like watery. So down here, I already took out my sheet pan that I'm gonna bake it in, and I have these non-stick silicone sheets that I bought at Costco. They're so awesome. Like, nothing sticks to them, so I highly recommend you buy these. Um, if you don't have that, use parchment paper. Do not use aluminum because that's going to stick on there. But parchment paper, use that. For All you're going to do now is just mix the cream cheese and the cheese together really good. And I'm just using a spatula because it just makes it easier for me instead of using my hands. Because if I use my hands, it's just going to stick because of the cheese all over my fingers and yeah i don't really want that and you know what i don't know if you can use a hand mixer i don't i wouldn't use a hand mixer because like i said the cheese would stick to your hand mixer um you can use a hand mixer when you add the almond flour but i'm just going to do it all by hand it doesn't even take a long time it's really easy all right so now that i mixed it all good together this is how it looks and now i'm going to add the almond flour. I'm gonna add three fourth cups of almond flour and just one egg. And now I'm gonna mix it all together using my spatula. At this point, you can use um, a blender if you want. Not a blender, but a, a hand mixer. What do you want, babe? Nothing. Why are you looking at me? You wanna eat my pizza? Because I ain't gonna share with you. Sure. <laughs> just plain, I am. All right, so at this point, you can put your sleeves up and get ready to play with this. So like I said, I already have my pan ready. I have a little bit of almond flour that fell, but that's okay. Pour it on there and it's gonna come out like a big ball, ball like that. And I'm not done mixing it just because, you know, this little spatula can't do the whole work for me. But now I'm just gonna play with it with my hands, kind of knead it a little bit till we mix all the almond flour in there. All right, so when while I'm doing this, I just wanna explain to you guys, because I know a lot of people have been asking me on Instagram like, are you keto? Are you doing keto? No, I'm not doing keto. The reason I'm doing a lot of like keto recipes is because I want to eat less carbs. And you know, keto people eat like a certain amount of carbs. Like they don't really eat carbs at all. So since I'm trying to lower my carb intake, I've been looking for a lot of keto recipes. But I'm not doing keto. I'm not going into ketosis because I still have more amount of carbs than a keto that somebody that on a keto diet would have. And I'm not doing keto though because I'm not trying to go get my body into ketosis or nothing like that. But I enjoy making a lot of keto recipes and it has really been easy making all these recipes. And they're actually really delicious. I don't think there's anything bad going into the keto diet. I've seen so many people that have done it and lost so much weight and it's awesome. But for me, I don't think I can like, I know I can do it if I put myself into it. But I don't want to like, I don't know, it's just a lot of work. I see what they do. Like a lot of people like check their blood, see if they're in ketosis and 
all this type of stuff and I'm just not for that I'll just eat less carbs and I love the keto recipes I'm enjoying them and I'm eating less carbs now that I'm doing a lot of like keto foods all right so you guys are seeing me play with it once it's all like really good and mixed now I'm gonna place it where I want just keep in mind my pizza never comes out beautiful and round so if you have parchment paper you're gonna place parchment if you have parchment paper you're gonna play pop why can't I talk today? You're gonna place parchment paper on the bottom and then on top, like I'm gonna do right now. But I don't have parchment paper and these work amazing, so I'm gonna use these. Seriously, I have not bought parchment paper because of these silicone pads. You know what? This is making it hard for me to actually roll it because it's sliding everywhere. But all you're gonna do is just roll it. I know mine's going crazy because of this damn pot pan. You're just gonna roll it really good to a circle or whatever shape you want your pizza, if you want to do a heart, if you want to do a star, if you want to do whatever the heck you want, then do it. All right, so now that I rolled it, I'm gonna remove the top of it. Just see the cheese coming off. You can even remove this, scrape it off, and just put it on top of your pizza if you want. Whatever you want to do, it's all up to you. Just tap it on there. This is how my pizza looks. It's not perfectly round, but I almost had it. But if you really want a perfect circle, um, just go with your fingers and kind of make the circle, you know? That's what I did last time. Put it in the oven for 15 minutes to cook before I even add any toppings. So let's go put it in the oven. All right, so the pizza has been cooking for a good 15 minutes. This is how it should look. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. Um, nice and yellow and a little bit of brown in some places. And it's ready for you to add your toppings. I'm going to start off with my sauce. So this is a sauce that I've been using. It is by the Newman's and it is sugar free so they don't add any sugar in their sauce. I always buy this one. It's so delicious. I just really like using spaghetti sauce. I started doing this because one time we were making pizzas and we forgot to buy pizza sauce. So I was like, hey, pizza sauce and spaghetti sauce is pretty much the same thing. The only reason it's different is, I don't know what's the difference. What's the difference? I don't know, but I just use spaghetti sauce. I don't really care. If you guys have a preference, let me know if you're on keto, what kind of sauce do you use for like spaghetti sauce or like doing a pizza? Let me know on the comments so that way we can share with each other. All right, now I'm gonna add my cheese. My mozzarella cheese. All right, so half of this pizza is gonna be for my daughter and then half of it is gonna be for me. So each half of the pizza is gonna be different. So I'm gonna do my daughter's first. She loves olives. Is a lover, a sucker for olives. Like this girl can eat olives all freaking day. I don't really like them. Do you guys like olives? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you love them or how do you feel about them. I feel like they're all too salty. I kind of like the green ones a little bit. You know, when you're drinking some wine or some beer, they kind of taste good. I'm going to put some mushrooms on the whole pizza because I love mushrooms. My daughter loves mushrooms. I'm going to do it like they do it at Pizza Rev. They kind of crush them a little bit and they put it all over the pizza. <coughs> Ollie, why are you barking? I swear, she always wants to bark when I'm doing a video. All the time. And I'm going to add some onions on my side. I love onions. Claire doesn't, so she ain't going to get no onions. And I'm going to add some peppers on mine, too, because I love, love peppers. All right, and then I'm going to add some jalapenos. These jalapenos are so spicy. You know, you buy a can sometimes, and they're, like, not even that spicy. I hate that. They're, like, kind of sweet. But these, this brand right here is spicy. They're really spicy. I'm going to add some pepperoni on my side because I like pepperoni. Claire doesn't, so I'm not even going to add it on her side. All right, this is how it looks. I don't want to like tilt it too much because it's going to fall. Um, so I'm going to put it in the oven for a good 10 minutes. All right, so my pizza is ready and it looks so good. Oh my God, it looks delicious. Tell me this does not look like a pizza ref pizza. This looks so freaking delicious. Like, oh, it's making my mouth water. I mean, come on, look at that cheese. Ooh, nice and crispy in the bottom. Ooh, look at that, look at that. So freaking delicious. All right, now I'm gonna taste test this with you guys because I mean, like, it looks so good. Look how beautiful that looks. It's a nice and thin crust. This literally reminds me when you eat pizza rev, if you have eaten pizza rev, you know how their dough is very thin? Literally, it reminds me like I'm eating pizza rev and I am a pizza rev fan, so. 
Bon appetit. Mmm. So good. Life is good. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me taste buds and letting me taste all this delicious food. If you try this recipe, tag me on Instagram. Tag me. I want to see how your pizza came out. Literally, you're going to thank me. But let me know if you're going to try it. And don't forget to tag me on Instagram. That way I can share you on my stories. But, yeah.